That blockbuster announcement from Apple, the company unveiling brand new iPhones, a way to eliminate wallets and credit cards for good, and that new watch that has so many people buzzing this morning. ABC's Neil Karlinski was at the big event in Silicon Valley. Apple's big day didn't disappoint. The iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, both thinner with bigger screens, would normally be a marquee event by themselves. We have one more thing. But it was the Apple Watch that stole the show. A sleek, wearable device starting at $349 that can give you directions, measure your heart rate, and more. This had to be something that people were proud to wear, that said something about them. And it has to function in such a way that it's more than just about things on their phone. World News Tonight anchor David Muir backstage getting the exclusive with Apple CEO Tim Cook and generally camera shy design genius Johnny Ive. And we've always tried to make products that, that, that people um, don't begrudgingly use, but that they want to use. You'll actually be able to send voice activated tweets from the watch. How fun it is to send the first tweet ever from an Apple Watch, period. See you tonight, period. One big question that people are wondering about, battery life. Apple will not comment on that right now, so it's clearly using up a lot of juice. How long will it last? The real game changer may be something called Apple Pay, the ability to use the phone or watch to buy just about anything, something Apple believes could make credit cards a thing of the past. For Good Morning America, Neil Karlinski, ABC News, Cupertino, California.